Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunday Dinner with Miss Vicki B. Today I am going to do a crock pot meal for y'all because I don't have a lot of time to do um, a regular meal right now and this is going to be a really good one. So I'm going to use my crock pot and oops, I got this uh, chuck pot roast. And then I'm gonna use some potatoes, half an onion, some baby carrots, some beefy onion soup mix, a little bit of parsley, garlic powder, some salt, and some pepper. And that should be all I'll need for this meal. All right, let's get started with this. First, I'm just gonna get this meat unpackaged and into the crock pot. Before I do that, I'm gonna spray just a little bit of this canola oil in here to make sure it don't stick. Every change has a reason. Now I'm gonna to start to season the meat. So I'm just gonna add some salt. Every season lives outside of status quo. If we stop it, and some pepper. Some garlic powder. We could stay or we could leave. There is nothing in between. So baby, we should start living now. Cause we only have this. Then I'm gonna add one packet of this beefy onion soup mix. Y'all, this stuff flavors so well. I use it in a lot of stuff and I've made gravies with it and everything and it just gives it a lot of extra flavor. Then I'm just gonna add a half a cup of water. We are close. Can you feel it? Something is behind the clouds. We just have to believe it. And I'm just gonna set my crock pot to low because this is gonna cook overnight. Lose ourselves in now it's time to peel and dice my potatoes. I used about five potatoes. The only ones who As you can see, I've already added about four tablespoons of butter, and then I'm just gonna spread my carrots out around the meat. Waste my time. Then I'm gonna add the diced potatoes. <sighs> now I'm gonna chop up this onion to put in there. I think that'll give it more flavor too. Now 
Now I'm just gonna go back and add the salt, the pepper, and the garlic powder on top of the veggies, the same seasonings that I used on the meat. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I'm on. I got it. I got it. And I'm also gonna add some parsley flakes to give it more color. Okay, y'all. I just woke up. It's about, I think it's about nine hours after I put this in. And it's definitely done. So I just turned my crock pot off. And now it's time to plate up this food. And y'all, this was just such a warm comfort meal. It was really good and it did last us two nights. So it was really worth what I spent on that meat because I think it averaged out to about $6 per person per meal total. And I didn't think that was too bad at all. It ended up being really good and y'all should really try to make this meal I don't know how cold it is in your area right now. We've had mostly really warm weather still, but it would be a really good meal for a really cold night. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope y'all have a good one. See you next time.